This is Deezy Danton Crow Crusader. I'm just making a short video on the uh, the anniversary of the death of uh, Baby the Cow. This was my first attempt to rescue animals in uh, Switzerland. And uh, I know I'm telling you the ending to my book, but it's okay. I think you can probably gather that on numerous occasions I've mentioned uh, my book about Baby and the uh, rescue effort of uh, Baby and her, her calf. And uh, I just wanted to remember that day, which is October 12th, somewhere uh, around 3 o'clock in the morning, she was picked up from the farm. And uh, at a later date, uh, one week later, I, or two weeks later, I did find out uh, where she was slaughtered. So, and that's all in this uh, story. I was driven to write this book as a voice for Baby and the uh, entire herd uh, that was slaughtered uh, in remembrance. And um, yeah, I don't have it in hardback. I have just a few copies uh, for friends and marketing purposes, but I do have it in ebook form on Amazon. And uh, anyway, I haven't really promoted it, haven't had time, haven't gotten an agent. That's all coming down the road. But for now, uh, I'm very heavily invested with the birds and, uh, and my poor sick Mealy and, and other things, uh, two other novels that I'm working on. Uh, actually, I have four in progress, but... Uh, well, I just completely dropped them. I've been working on them off and on for five years and just haven't had time to uh, finish them. Anyway, but I didn't want... Last year I was not able to do the 10th anniversary because uh, I had just gotten back from uh, uh, taking care of my dad and uh, had been sick in the hospital with kidney stones. And, and so when I came back, I was rather sick and I had missed... Uh, I didn't miss it personally. I had remembered it, but I didn't get around to making a video. And I didn't want that to happen this year. I actually wanted to go to my favorite spot uh, where I could remember her properly. But uh, I was not able to do that today uh, with uh, um, my hand and, and other health issues. So uh, I decided just to do it right here on my uh, at my workstation and uh, what's important is that uh, I remember baby and uh, the love that she gave to me and the path that she put me on that led me uh, down to to the road of enlightenment and to, on a new path a new career uh, I should I say uh, a new purpose in life. And so, uh, like the candle says here, it says, uh, Aber die Liebe hört niemand auf. In German, in English, uh, love never ends. Our love is endless. And how true that is. Uh, this is the, uh, the book that I wrote in memory of her and, uh, and, and the entire herd. And uh, it's called uh, A Heart for Baby. And it's in Kindle format on Amazon. But uh, there's a picture of her right there. There she is. Beautiful. And uh, I just wanted to pan over to my website. And uh, here's another picture. And how beautiful this is. I don't know if you can see it. But she had a perfectly white heart on her leg as if it was tattooed perfectly just perfect and that's why I called it the heart for baby beautiful beautiful animal and uh, I just want to quickly uh, show you um, also the uh, 
There's an excerpt on there, some pictures. It's a picture of Titi. And very importantly, a picture of Anton, Dr. Anton Gertzdahl, who wrote the foreword for the book. Here's a close-up. He is the first animal lawyer in Switzerland and one of the mentors of many animal lawyers across the world. And I'm so honored that he wrote the uh, foreword for my book. And uh, he's uh, the um, president and CEO of Global Animal Law, GAL. You can go visit that. Uh, that's uh, globalanimallaw.org. Uh, and you should visit that. It's a great website with lots of information. A great, great person who's done a lot and represented some high profile cases in America, like a Shabu, the uh, killer whale from SeaWorld. Um, yeah, wonderful. He's done a lot of great work, uh, he and his organization. Anyway, um, here's just an excerpt from the book here. And I also have a blog on my website, um, Tales of the Wild and Woolly, uh, of course, about uh, poor dead crows, um, Sanctuary Showcase, uh, Code Red. This is a good eider pickle and it's a need for uh, donations and new subscribers. Uh, they have over 7,000 animals to care for. That's quite a lot of animals. And uh, and also Pet Portrait. And also Elsie, which is a.k.a. Uh, Chi-Chi. And uh, she has her own blog. Okay? And uh, she's got also something to say. Anyway, I just wanted to... All of this, the website, everything was born out of the idea of the book and the giving the voice uh, to these animals. And also that baby should never be forgotten. And she isn't. She's forever in my heart. This is DC Dan and Crow Crusader in memory of baby and all those poor animals who were viciously slaughtered, okay? Um, and I can tell you how they were slaughtered, but I'm not going to say that here. This is not the time or place. This is all about love. This is DC Dan Crow Crusader, over and out.